Hello and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, Act 2 of uh, Hydro City is almost the same at the beginning, at least. So, yeah. Uh, if anything, uh, Knuckles has somewhat of an easier time because he doesn't have to spin us through the um, blocks there, so that's good. But, yeah, still annoying. But. That is to be expected with this level, seriously. Anyway, let's bash through here, and that's that. Seriously. Uh, if only the momentum didn't kill me. Seriously. Well, not literally, because I didn't lose any lives, but, um, yeah. I'm already running out of things to say with the red echidna, seriously, which is not a good start. Uh, perhaps uh, there is an area um, that is different towards the end of Act 2 of Hydro City, so it isn't all the same. I know that for a fact, so at least that's something. If only, um, well, you know. Why did I pause the game there? Seriously? That's just not an excuse. Unless I have to go to the toilet or something. Indeed, let's go through here and um, you get the idea. Thankfully, the wall climbing with Knuckles is a bit easier to um, get through here with, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there's also some uh, more rings there. Well, ten more of them. So yeah, and then glide on over. Um, do I want to get to the... In fact, yeah, I may well do. Um, no, it's not there is the special stage that I speak of, but, um, yeah, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing, so let's just go for a bit of a, well, again, <laughs> and I love that, just the look on Knuckles' face there, he just goes, Aah! especially given, um, how Knuckles is voiced in game, seriously, uh, for the most part he is... Seriously, with the possible exception of the, um, dare I say, what many people call the meta era of Sonic, which I guess would have been from the 20, throughout the 2010s. It makes sense that made Knuckles into a more of a dumbass than a badass. I believe Henry Selva uh, sorted that out, shall we say, as well as the writers of um, the second Sonic movie. Um, so, that being said, let's go up here and, uh, indeed, uh, get to the top. Yeah, here's the thing where the Red Echidna really does shine, and that is gliding and climbing up walls. Again, this is why I like playing as Knuckles, even though his, um, playthrough is a bit harder in terms of, um, uh, the fact that you can't jump as high as Sonic, and that's the main thing, really, you can't jump as high as Sonic. Again, not so bad here, but when we get to the boss of Act 2, it will be noticeable. Seriously, because, um, you remember that I could use the, um, bubble shield to reach him with Sonic. Not so with Knuckles, of course. I did say in the last episode, in the beginning of the Knuckles playthrough, that, um, uh, Knuckles cannot reach there without, well, either... Anyway, here's our next special stage, so I'll skip this, and then let's go, I guess, down here? Yeah. And, um... And head to the right. And here is the uh, hidden area. Of course, this is where Knuckles sent Sonic down into the water. And there's a bit of rinse and repeat here with the, um... Um... Cylinders, at least. Yeah, seriously. We get a similar area in, um, I think, well, we did it earlier, actually. Um, although there are no spikes here. Uh, until we get to the top, should I say. So, yes, we'll use this uh, mechanism to propel Knuckles into the air. And I suppose I could have gone in there. I believe there is some, um... How do I pot this? Uh, no idea. I'm, I'm not gonna say. Uh, I think there was some um, some invincibility in there, that's all. Which would have helped here. But never mind. Uh, let's wait until that goes back to the left. Jump on it and get hit, of course. 
and get squashed here if I'm not careful. And no, I do not want to climb, definitely not. And beyond here is where I believe the boss is. Yes, he is. So, here's the egg robo once again. And likewise, um, you have to hit him either by using the uh, whirlpool he generates with the, the propeller there, or by using his bombs, or both. So yeah, as I said before, you can't use the uh, bounce streak with the thing if you have it. Yes, um... Uh, the elemental shields are still w still work here, don't get me wrong, but they're not as good as with Sonic. They're not as gimmicky, I guess. They're just there for protection for the Red Echidna. Oh, well. It's not like he isn't strong. We know that because he's in Sonic Heroes. He, he was labelled a power-type character, of course. So, yeah. You can still actually use the... Um, bombs to propel Knuckles upward um, and bounce off the uh, cockpit of the Egg Robos well, what is Eggman's Eggmobile but apparently he's decided to betray his former master I wonder why then well we actually find out towards the end of the playthrough seriously, ok I've got a good couple of hits in there seriously and that wasn't meant to happen seriously just got flung into the air and oh god knows how long, but yeah. Same with the whirlpool, just don't jump into the center of it. Seriously. And yeah. Um, although the second act boss of the next uh, zone, which of course is Marvel Garden Zone, is um, very different to the uh, main boss in. Uh, with Sonic and Tails, for obvious reasons, because Tails doesn't pick him up, for one. So, at least we get that change. And I guess also the Act 1 boss in Marble Garden as well. But, uh, yeah. That being said, let's go indeed to Marble Garden Zone. And, um, indeed, let's roll down here. I don't know if I go straight to the uh, special stage here. If I do, this may well be a short episode. Just saying, because uh, I know a lot of the next episode does take place in um, Marble Garden. And I guess Act 1 of um, uh, Carnival Night Zone. But, um, yeah. Well, Carnival Night Zone makes up for the fact that he, the second act doesn't have a boss. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so, indeed, let's go up here, if we can. Uh, yes. And I suck. Yes, I bloody well do. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like I am going for the first special stage. Okay then, well, I may well see you in a moment.